everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher, and today I am going to be talking about Some Shall Break by Ellie Marnie. This is an Australian young adult thriller novel. It has just come out and I am so excited to talk about it with you. It is the follow-up to None Shall Sleep, which was a historical story that was set in the 1980s and followed a young FBI agent in training and a young woman who had survived being held captive and nearly killed by a serial killer. And the two worked together to interview a teenage serial killer in order to hunt down someone who is currently killing people. The ending of that story left its mark on both Emma and Travis and in Some Shell Break Emma has gone back to life at college, Travis is still in training and when a new serial killer emerges who follows the same pattern of behavior as the man who had originally kidnapped Emma prior to the first book in the series the FBI need to take her into protective custody and they enlist her help in trying to identify the similarities and the differences between the man who held her captive and the person who is currently killing women. She is reunited with Travis and the two work the case together alongside the sister of Simon Goodmanson, who was the teenage serial killer that they worked alongside in the first book. Simon is currently on death row and throughout the course of the case Emma needs to go and visit him and talk to him and those scenes are delightfully disturbing in the best possible way. Simon is a very intriguing character and he's one of those characters where you know that you can't believe everything that he's saying. We have three point of view characters in this book, Travis, Emma and Kristen who is Simon's twin sister. The three of them are working together to try and solve this case but we also know that something else is going on so you spend the entire book going what is going to happen next and in particular what is Simon going to do because he is really a linchpin in this series. In this book we do really explore Emma's trauma and how it is a present everyday thing for her that she has to work through. She has a therapist and there is a lot of reference to that on page. We also see Travis who cares a lot about Emma having to navigate finding out exactly what happened to her in the past. He had sort of the general idea but he didn't know the specifics and in this book they have to explore that. And so he is horrified for his friend and he is trying to work out the best way to help her and realizing that just being there for her and not trying to fix the situation is what he needs to do and so he's working through that so we have these great moments of relationship development between the two of them. Kristen is a really interesting character as well because we never quite know her motivations. She's very determined to help stop the current serial killer but she also has a devotion to her brother. She's a much lighter character than both Travis and Emma and so it's interesting to see the contrast of their personalities. The book does leave off on a place where we could get a follow-up book and I am totally down for that because I absolutely love this. Ellie Marnie is one of my favorite Australian young adult authors. I love her thriller books. They are highly entertaining. If you haven't tried Ellie's writing before, I highly recommend that you check her out. If anyone's interested in a bit of a breakdown of her young adult stories, I'm very happy to do that because she writes across a couple of different genres. But I had an absolute ball reading this and I'm kind of sad because I was anticipating this and now I now it's here and I've read it <laughs> and it's done and I might just need to wait for the next one. I will leave links down below where you can find out more information about Some Shall Break. Happy book birthday to it. I hope that release day and release week goes amazingly well. If you've read Ellie Marnie's books before or you're planning on picking up Some Shall Break feel free to let me know down below. Otherwise feel free to leave a rose emoji if you just want to let me know that you're here. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.